Good morning, everybody. Blaine Austin here at Sewing Machines Plus. Hey, and welcome to our Thursday live show. Uh, thanks for joining in. And hey, guys, uh, we've missed you. It's been a been a couple yes. weeks, and uh, don't know if y'all know all the drama that's happened at <laughs> SMP, but uh, we a bunch of us got COVID, and uh, uh -huh. so I was Kyle and myself and Deb and and, and a few of us were going to. Uh, Vegas to a convention at VDTA. Uh, it was supposed to have been uh, last week. Um, and uh, so anyway, the Thursday before, or was it, th Kennedy, was it? It th was the Thursday before. The Thursday before uh, we were supposed to leave that following Monday and Tuesday, um, everybody in our office started coming in sick. Like crazy. And uh, so we had like six people out with COVID and Kennedy was one of them. Oh, Roger yes. was one of them. And lo and behold, I didn't think I, you know, I would get sick. But guess what? I got sick, got COVID. I was out the whole week last week. And uh, so we're back this week, ready to go. And uh, so anyway, uh, we didn't really get to do anything in Vegas like we had planned uh, because I didn't go. So I had to change a plan. So anyway, uh, we're all feeling good. Got Rock uh, or Kennedy uh, in here this morning with me. Kyle is not here today. Kyle had to uh, stay home, take care of some business today. And and then Roger had some stuff coming up this morning and Roger's not here. So it's just Kennedy and I uh, running oh, the yes. show today. And uh, But we've got some really cool things today for you guys. We are going to be talking all about baby lock surgers. And uh, man, I tell you what, we have Linda Pacini. Uh, we have Mike Johns, the two of the best educators in the Very country. Nice. They are so good. And uh, you guys, we're going to talk about an hour today just about baby lock surgeries. We're going to go down the entire line of the air threaders and show you. And then after we do, you know, do that, we're going to come back. I'll come here. We're going to do some uh, sales overlays and show you uh, some of the pricing and things. And, and guys, we got really good uh, bundles and call-in specials on everything. So you'll need oh, to just yes. get on the phone today and call us if you're in the market for a surger. Because I know there's a lot of y'all out there right now. I know a bunch of y'all have to celebrate, which everybody loves to celebrate. But we're going to talk about all of them. And uh, even the Triumph. The Triumph is the top of the line. Now, you can only get the Triumph in the retail stores. Uh, but we're going to talk to you a little bit about that one, too. Uh, and uh, But anyway, got a great lineup today. And we're also going to give some Baby Lock swag away today. What? So, yeah, I've got some good Baby Lock swag in here to give away. And uh, but got to give a big shout out to some of the SMP Nation watching today. Hey, we have Wendy Volrath uh, watching and Phil back over in Virginia uh, watching today. We have Doreen Warren and Vasalia. That's uh, California, I think. Uh, yes, I, yep, I think so. so. And uh, we have uh, Michelle Kelly who's watching. Hey, she was one of our Quilt Fest winners. Yes, she was. So good morning to Michelle out there. Uh, we have Mary Ellen Kreps. Uh, watching from Delaware, Kathy Gruber. That's a familiar name uh, over in Ohio. Ooh. And then we have Bree Lewis in South Carolina watching this morning. So, Good morning. so it's not morning for them. Oh no, South no, Carolina. Not. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's on the East Coast time. Yes. So uh, she's already ready for lunch. Oh yes. <laughs> you know I could be ready too. <laughs> I'm telling you. So guys, got some dates I want to share with you. You know I always tell you when you watch our shows. Make sure you always have a pencil and a piece, a, a notepad by you because I always give you lots of stuff. And today you'll want to take notes when you listen to all the baby lock stuff about the sergers. Uh, again, you know, like I said, if you're in the market for a serger, uh, you want to take some notes because that way you can kind of, you know, see which one might may be the one you want. And then we can help you with that too. You can call us. We can tell you all about them. But oh, yes. uh, some dates I got to tell you about. So uh, next week, you know, it's serger month all month this month. Next week, uh, we're going to have brother in the house and talking about, uh, about the brother surger. And guess who we have coming in, Kenny? Who do we have, Blaine? We have the world famous Chris Talk. <gasps> I know SP Nation loves Chris Talk. He, everybody loves Chris. So Chris is going to be on the show. Uh, we're going to talk all about that brother Air 3000 surger. He, he did an open box video one. So now he's going to do some projects for us and share them with you. And uh, so that'll be fun having Chris on the show. And then after, so what's, uh, we have one, um, that's next week, May the, f is it May 4th? Hold on. Yes. Let me look at my notes real quick, guys. <laughs> so May, May 4th, 
Uh, we're going to have another brother show. And y'all know the Stellar series. We've talked about the Stellar series. They have what they call the XE1, which is an embroidery only machine. And then they have the XJ1, which is a combo. It's embroidery and sewing. So we're got a special show that we're doing on those two machines uh, on the 4th of May. And we'll have some special guests on. And we're going to have a really cool thing that you're going to love. And also next week when Chris is on, we got a really cool offer oh, for everybody. Yes. If you already own an existing, I guess I can spill the beans, can I? I mean, go for it. If you own an existing serger, it doesn't matter. Even if it wor doesn't work, we don't care. If you've got an existing serger, we're going to have a little trade-in sale. So just put that back in your mind if you've been thinking about that. Wink, wink. Air Threader, you know, from Brother, the 3000. So uh, we're going to have that. So it's going to be really cool. And then mark this. This is the really good show, guys. May the 11th, we're having my annual birthday bash. What? Yay! And here's Yay! the cool thing about it. Every year, it seems like it never falls on my actual birthday, the Thursday show. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's on my birthday this time. And May wait, the 11th on we Thursday. have some special people coming to say hi to you. You, you never, never know, know who's, what's going to happen here. And I don't ever get a gift, but I give gifts. So you, I may get crazy on my birthday. So y'all need to make the sure you watch. Is giving. <laughs> there there you go. <laughs> um, then on <laughs> May 18th, this is the one you've been waiting for, everybody. Make sure you mark this date down. It is our second Fabric Palooza show. Woo! Now, and Blaine, they I've been posting about the in-store Fabric Palooza, which if you have a chance to come into the store do that but everybody was asking when is fabric palooza going to be online when is it going to be online well guys we listen you yep. ask, we listen and if y'all joined us on our first pat fabric palooza show it was crazy how much yes. stuff and what happened our system fabric was being bought so quick that the system didn't even have time to upgrade the inventory yes so we oversold a lot of the the, the different fabric because we only had certain you know certain amounts of each one and they oversold it. So we apologize for that. We're going to try to do things a little calmer this time. So it's not like a feeding frenzy, but we've got, you know, if you're going to be able to save all the way up to 70% off on some of the fabrics, every one of these fabrics is high end fabric. And uh, it, we've got, we have been working ever since our last fabric Palooza, they've been working behind the scenes, getting it all cut, getting it ready. And it's going to be sold in one yard and three yard packs. And uh, so it's going to be really good and we're going to do it kind of the same. It'll be a number system again. And, but we're going to open it up so you can just kind of go shop it on your own. And that will, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about some certain ones, but we're going to make sure we have plenty of stock this time on them. So nobody run, you know, runs out and you uh, get upset, not getting your fabric. So we're going to try to make sure that that doesn't happen. And, uh, but you need to make, mark that date down. That's going to be on uh, the May 18th. Cause you guys surprised us. <laughs> yeah, it was, I couldn't believe that how fast the fabric we went. We left the show and we were like, oh, I wonder how it went. And we came back and it was like, everything's gone. Yeah. <laughs> everything's gone. It did. It was crazy. And then June the 12th through the 16th is Hoop Fest. So you guys have been waiting. It's, it's going to be soon. all about embroidery. And uh, so y'all don't want to miss Hoop Fest, and uh, that'll be really good. But guys, I got to tell y'all too, we're going to give some stuff away at the show today. I'm going to give some swag, a baby lock. We're going to give a, some things away. And how do you win? Well, if you're new and you don't know the routine, we're going to tell you. All you have to do is like, share, and comment. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. If you're on Facebook, just like our page and uh, make comments and ask questions a day during the, the live, you know, the feed. Uh, and it'll actually enter you to win. And we'll do that. Kennedy will spin the wheel this after oh, yes. this, this later today when we do this. And uh, you will get some free gifts. Yes, you will. It's kind of cool. Oh, Other yes. than that. All right. So, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to let Linda and Mike, they're going to go through all six surgeries today. That's their air threader surgeries. And this, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's about an hour. So, hopefully, y'all have about an hour to spare and to watch this. And then what we'll do is we'll come and do a, a very quick overlay. We're trying to get you out of here in about an hour and a half today, hopefully. Oh, yes. And uh, so we'll do that. That We'll do an overlay and kind of tell you the pricing and things and the deals that we have. And then uh, we'll give some stuff away. And then it'll be a rest of your, a great rest of your day. Hope your weather yes. is great where you are at. We are absolutely fantastic out here in California yes. this morning. Starting off a little gloomy, but the sun's it's, shining. Uh, 
Well, you know, we had so much rain. We've had yeah. so much rain this year and cold weather more than in the normal. It's never yeah. been like this since I've been out here. So and if you have a chance to see the super bloom, go check it out. We are covered in flowers here in California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's green. It's actually yes, green it's so for a green. change and not like desert and brown. So yes. <laughs> uh but anyway, guys, I uh, hope that y'all enjoy all this. I tell you, there's a lot of information. So y'all pay attention. They're going to go, they're going to, and they're going to tell you a little bit of history about Baby Lock and the sergers and how they came about. Because, you know, Baby Lock came out with sergers, the higher end sergers before anybody else. And they're the first air threader surger on the market. So that's one of the great things uh, about Baby Lock. They're always staying on the cutting edge of sergers. And guys, I think you're going to really enjoy this. So let's take it away. Let's go to uh, Linda Piccini and Mike Johns, and I'll see y'all back here in about an hour. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Linda Pacini and with me today is Mike Johns, also from the Baby Lock Education team. So welcome, Mike. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Don't we have some wonderful machines sitting here in front of us? This is such a cool thing to see right now. We've got our entire Baby Lock lineup of sergers right here and we're going to talk about these today, right? Yeah, so the purpose of this video is to introduce you to all of the machines in the Baby Lock Serger line because I don't know if you've noticed it, but we certainly have sergers are a big topic of conversation out there. They really are. Everything from what does a serger do to what serger is right for me or why do I need a serger, right? And we're going to answer that question today. We're going to go through this and we're going to start at the entry level of our lineup and we're going to work our way up. We're gonna talk about all of the benefits, all the features, what they do, and help you decide what machine is perfect for you and why, right? No doubt. Yeah. And so just so that you know, from a historical perspective, Baby Lock is the company that first introduced a serger to a home sewing market. And we did that a number of years ago. But what you don't probably know is that we have taken some features and put them into machines the likes of which were never seen once before. And so Mike, yeah. one of those features is a big deal and we're celebrating an anniversary of that. We are, this is our 30th year from when we introduced jet air threading, which if you ask me, that was the innovation that made sergers fun, right? It truly I mean, was. it really did. It took the pain out of threading a serger. Cause if you've ever done a serger that's not jet air threading, boy, it can be a little bit of a challenge, right? But with ours, we've got this built in, we've got various intonations of it as we go through this. But as you go through the line, you'll see threading our machines is a breeze and right. that really makes them a joy to sew with. I agree. And so when you're walking through this presentation today, just understand this, that there is a lot of tools that you can turn to, to help you really clarify your decision. Probably by the time you're done watching this video, you're going to get a sense of exactly what serger really is meant to go home with you and be a part of your sewing room. But I also know that our baby lock retailers represent a wonderful resource to help you as well. They really do. And they're such a great resource because they're the ones that are going to actually let you sit down and sew with the machines and see what it does, see how it feels, see how you interact with it. And that is so important, right? Because there's nothing like a test drive. We test drive our cars. Right. So why not test drive our machines, I right? I couldn't agree more. And I do believe that that hands-on experience is what's going to help you get comfortable. So what we also want you to know is that when it comes to a baby lock machine, well, we excel in education. We've got a lot of different ways of helping people get the most out of the product that they finally end up taking home. So whether it's a part of our SoEd video library, where we have thousands of titles to choose yeah. from, everything from just how to operate your machine, how to get the most out of all the feet and attachments. Well, there's a whole lot that's covered out there. And in addition to that, we have a lot of great written materials as well under our inspirational guides. Yeah, and we also have a very active social media community on Facebook. So we have a group that's called the Baby Lock serger Facebook community and that is run by us we actually run that it's a place where you can go ask questions you can post comments you can show off your work which we always love to see right and we'll get back to you me and Linda actually answer things on that as well the rest of our team so it's a really great way to get instant kind of uh, feedback when you're looking for questions and stuff because you know retailers have to take a little time off too so that's a way that we can actually keep it kind of going in real time yeah fantastic Mike well, just so that you know, when it comes to sergers, we certainly have noticed that there's, like we talked about, an uptick in people having questions about them. And so maybe you have said to yourself, 
I'm not somebody who really needs to own a serger. Well, once you really understand what a serger can do, it really does act as a wonderful accessory to your sewing room. But how do you know which one to pick and what features are really right for you? And that's what we're gonna be tackling in this video. But before we get started with that, we're gonna take a little bit of a trip down memory lane yeah. and we're gonna show off some of our earliest sergers and then we're gonna walk you through the line. So this is gonna be fun. So as promised, here we are standing in front of four of our earlier models of sergers. And you have to admit, there's a little bit of eye candy going on. There is, I love this. And what you may not know is we have these around our studio here and we get to see these every day and they're cherished, right? Because this is our foundation. This is where we kind of got started, but how cool are the colors? I yeah. mean, let's talk about the colors. Yeah. But what's really neat about this, Linda, is this is the foundation. This is where we started. This is where we've come from. And the nice thing is, and I know we're gonna talk about this, but there's features on this that directly translate into the features of our most current model right now, right? Very true. So I'm going to direct your attention to a few things that really make this a serger. And one of the first things that is really unique about sergers is that they can cut fabric. So on every single model of machine, we have a cutting blade knife. And what that knife will do is it's going to trim off the fabric. And after it's gone through, it's going to lay some stitches and thread on it. Mm -hmm. And these were really how they first in industrial wear made machines mm -hmm. so that they could make for a good garment construction. Well, and they were a finishing stitch, right? So this is a way that once we did seams or hems, things like that, we could guarantee that that weave and that fabric wasn't going to let go. It actually made a nice clean finish and therefore increased the longevity of the garments themselves. So it's a nice utilitarian product, but nowadays we're also looking at the fact that it's not just utilitarian, right? As we keep going through the lineup, I think what you're gonna see is that we actually have put a lot of creativity into our machines as well. Absolutely. So let's talk about some of these things. Now on the earliest models of machines, what you're going to notice is that the needles themselves come in at an angle. We yeah. call this kind of a slant needle system. And we also have tension knobs. Now our earliest sergers only had three different spools of thread that they can be accommodated. And then as we moved a little bit farther along, you're standing next to a four, yeah. four thread model. And I love the two separate thread trees, <laughs> right? And cool? they're angled at the side. So yeah. as you can see, just looking at these machines, whether it's lighting that's on the outside to help you know illuminate your work surface, it's the cutting blade knife, it's the way that the machines mm -hmm. thread. And oftentimes what you'll also notice is that there's a little bit of color coding going on to mm -hmm. really guide somebody who's going to be using a machine to make it easier easier for them to achieve success when they're threading. Absolutely, and we've carried that on. You know, our most current machine is still color-coded, which I love that, I absolutely yeah. love that. Now, as we go up in the line, one of the things you're gonna notice is the fronts of the machines become a lot more yeah. simplified, yeah. right? We've, we've really dramatically changed product, and so this is, foundationally an important thing for Baby Lock as a brand to know because it helps us to really talk to you about the history of our brand and our product and how we continue always to strive for better solutions for people who sew because we're also sewers too. What we're gonna do next is we're going to start then showing you now the machines kind of in price order, Mike, right? right? So to kind of give you an idea of what features are where and I think you're gonna find it's a pretty interesting journey. So we're gonna do that next. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look at the past because it's going to help ground you a little bit about where we are today. So I'm sitting next to the Baby Lock Celebrate and this is the very first machine in our line. And let's qualify this because we have a serger that is very first in our line and that's the Baby Lock Vibrant. But it stands kind of apart from right. the rest of these Japanese made sergers. So let's just talk about that for a second, Mike. Yeah, it's kind of an entry level serger and it's one that we throw out there for the person who may not be doing a lot of heavy surging, that kind of stuff. They're looking for something that's a more starter surger, I guess you could kind of say like sure. that. It is all manual, right? That's the one thing we have to really point out about that because as we start looking through our line, we're gonna start talking about how we improve the processes that go into the machine. And we're gonna talk about more things that are automated for us, which to me, I don't know about you, but automation is the king right it there, right? It makes a big deal. It does. And, and I would also say that you have to know a little bit about yourself, right? So as a brand new serger owner, a long time ago, my first machine was just driven by the fact that I needed something very affordable affordable. Little did I know at that time that that machine was going to last me for a very long time because these machines are meant to last for a very, very long, long time. time. And so if you're making a decision, don't start out exactly at the lowest end of the spectrum because what you're going to find is that it's going to make 
it a little bit harder to be successful. But this is where we start with sergers that have a lot of capability. So we pointed out a few things to you when we were looking at our entry level machines and, and they were things like color coded threading, Right, your knife blade, Right, our, our needles, but let's talk about our needles now because our needles have changed yes. from what we saw before because when we talked about even our older entry level machines, when we kind of took that walk back in history, we, we specifically pointed out that our needles were angled. Yes, right? so and we did actually, that for a reason. We did because now when we look at the machines that are sitting on the table now, yeah. they're straight up and down. Yeah, so it's a vertical needles and we're starting now with the features that are inherent in all of our baby lock products from the celebration all the way on up. And when we talk about needles that are going directly up and down into fabric, what I can tell you from personal experience is, is that when you're sewing fast, and by the way, these starters sew 1500 stitches per minute, which is really, really fast. And when they do that, if your fabric is thick, what's going to happen, and it's going to happen, when your needles are at a slant position like this, as that fabric comes in, well, you just may end up finding that those needles bend a little bit. And if they bend, they, break. they can break. <laughs> and not only that, it can knock your machine out of time. So we're starting foundationally right. right there because that's a big deal. So a baby lock serger, the way that it's made, I'm just going to tell you, they're not going to get knocked out of time. And a part of that reason is because the needles go straight up and down. Now there's some guts inside <laughs> that also make sure that the machine won't get knocked out of time. But that's an important thing because downtime on your serger means you're not sewing. That's right. And what we're telling you is that you're not going to have downtime. And when we're talking about downtime, let's talk maintenance in general when we talk about baby lock surgeries. These are some of the easiest machines in the world to maintain, right? I mean, literally, all you're going to do is keep them dusted, right? Clean out the inside, and that's all specified in your manual to talk to you how to do that. Plus, we have this wonderful little series on YouTube called From the Workbench with Doug. And if you haven't seen that, such a great resource, not only for our surgeries, but for our entire baby lock line, because Doug is the head of our tech program, and he actually goes through and explains to you how to maintain your machines. Now, all of our machines, too, are closed systems, so that means that there's no oiling, which is wonderful, yeah. because now I don't have to worry about getting grease and that kind of stuff out, because my tech's going to do that at my annual checkup. Right, and you definitely want to have your machine checked out on a regular basis, just because if you're using it a lot to sew, you just want to make sure that it's working good. So yeah. let's get back to some of these things. Okay, so from top to bottom, we have a wonderful thread tree, which collapses for storage. You're going to bring it all the way up and you have four different cones of thread that can be used. But you've probably heard people talk about a 432 thread serger. Well, guess what? <laughs> These are all 432 thread sergers. What that means is that there are stitches that can be formed using all four threads, just three threads, and even just two threads. Absolutely. And we've got all of our machines. You're going to see as we progress through our machine lineup, we've color coded them for you with our thread spools. Yes. So you'll see that we've got purple, four cones of purple on each one of these machines. So the ones sitting on our table, these all are 432 machines. They're actually going to be able to fall into that category. Yeah. One thing before we get too far, uh, talking about our telescope for our thread tree here, those all are done so that they lock in place. Yes. Which it may sound like a little thing, but it's a, it's big, a big thing, thing. right? It's a big thing. They won't dance they around won't when dance you're surging yeah. at 1,500 stitches per minute. And I do surge that fast. I know you do too. It's I like too. I, I go lead foot, right? Yeah. That's the way to go. So let's talk about some of the other things. So we have the needles that go straight up and down. We also have on the outside of the machine, and I'm going to kind of bounce around a little bit. This is our differential yes. feed. And if you look closely, what you're going to see with this diagram is it's showing you it's pushing the fabric together. That means it's gathering. And when you move this lever down, it's going to stretch it out. And so this is actually a pretty cool way that you can make fabric kind of manage itself the way you want. Right. And honestly, the thing is, is I find myself, I'm sure you do too, when I'm dealing with specialty fabrics, right? That differential feed, being able to adjust that on the fly is a godsend because when you're sitting here stitching, if you're stitching something that has a little bit of stretch into it, you can actually adjust the differential feed to eliminate any puckering that you might be seeing happening as you stitch. And what I love is this is on every machine, yeah. right? This is in the full lineup. I call it my stick shift on my it serger. It kind of is, Because yeah. what it'll do is it'll help you manage the road, so to speak, or right, the fabric. Yeah. Okay, so differential feed. And then I'm going to open up the door here, and we're going to talk a little bit about our jet air threading system. So we said we are experiencing our 30-year anniversary this year, <laughs> and it's for this little guy. This is a little pump, and it's going to blow air through your machine. And so 
it doesn't run out of air. <laughs> it's a continuous <laughs> supply, but it does work beautifully. And the neat thing about it, and so we say jet air threading, but really and truly, it works in conjunction with, we're going to get technical now, our tubular looper system. And so the machines have the ability, and if you look on the inside and it's always printed, you're going to push this button in at the same time that you rotate your hand wheel towards you. And what just happened is my threading tubes locked. I'm going to show it to you again. I can release them and then I can press on this button and they lock. This is the secret sauce for yes. how our machines can thread because most sergers, you have to thread them in a certain order or you're not going to stitch. And in fact, if you've got a serger in a closet somewhere <laughs> and you can't get it to thread and you're really frustrated by it, here's a little tip. Start with your upper looper and then do your lower looper you have to thread it in a certain order, and that's just the way sergers are, but not not these ours. Machines. <laughs> not these. Yeah. You can thread them so you don't have to go back to school every time you sit down to your machine. It's pretty easy to do. So that jet air threading. Now, when you thread the machine, I'm just going to point out that here on the Celebrate, this is the only machine in this line that has tension knobs on the outside, and we call this twin cam micromatic tension. Sounds like a mouthful. But what it has is a pretensioner so that it's not like everybody else's tension knobs. And it's certainly nothing like the tension knobs on our first sergers. This is going to smooth out the thread. So even if you have a little bubble in it, mm -hmm. it's going to smooth it out. And you're going to have perfect stitching. This machine does a beautiful job. It does. It makes beautiful stitches, actually. And another way to think about smoothing out that bubble is it unkinks the kinks, right? I mean, that's a way to kind of think of it. Because if you've stitched with any specialty thread, like we have uh, our Madeira thread up here, which is airlock, which is beautiful, makes beautiful seams. But sometimes we like to do specialty threads. And I always like to say when I'm talking to a customer, if they actually embroider, I say, do you have a hard time using specialty threads? Metallics are our favorite, right? Yeah. Guys, on our sergers, all of those specialty threads are headache free, yeah. which I love that. So if you've got a machine where you've bought a bunch of specialty thread and you just kind of thrown it in a drawer because you're just like, I'm never going to use this on my machine, throw it on your serger. It makes beautiful stitching. It so, does. Yeah. It, but as we go through our pathing and our thread pathing here, it does unkink those kinks for us. And it, it actually will remove the lint on it as well as it, it kind of goes through. Yeah. It's fancy. It's okay. Fancy. So let's talk about some of the other features. Now, if you look over here on the side of the machine, you're going to see this top knob up here, and this is going to control your stitch width. I'm going to make sure that my knife is up and it is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first release my threading, but I'm going to move this knife blade in and out. And what I can see, you may not be able to see it, but you need to know this is a pretty cool feature. This is called fabric support system. And so what's happening is as my knife is moving in and out, so is my stitch finger. And when it does that, what it's essentially doing is making sure that as I cut off and surge my fabric, well, all those stitches are right on the edge and you don't have to make any adjustments. None of this whole bunch of thread hanging off to the side and now you got to start making a bunch of adjustments to your tension knobs. It doesn't exist. That's one of my favorite features. It is. And I think stitch fingers, we talk a lot about stitch fingers, right? We talk about that quite often. And I think a lot of people kind of get mystified by that. What is a stitch finger? Well, really and truly, if you get to your local retailer, which we really want you to do, if you look right behind where the needles are, there's like literally two little metal fingers that are kind of sticking out. And that's actually supporting that fabric once that other part has been cut. So if you think about it, you've got the weight of the cut fabric, you've got the stitches on the fabric that's sitting up there. Those stitch fingers are almost like the table leg supporting yeah. where those stitches are going. Right. And that's the reason why you can actually sew air on a serger right. because all the stitches are formed on that metal plate and then it just slides off to the back. We call that chaining off and you can do that. You'd never do it on a sewing machine, but you definitely can do it on a serger. Right below that, there's a lower large knob and this knob actually has two words on the outside, standard and rolled. And what this is going to do is allow me to have instant narrow rolled hemming. And that's one of the yeah. main reasons I bought a serger. And it's a beautiful rolled hem too. I mean, throw a little bit of woolly thread on there so that it has a little bit of fluff and a little bit of a halo to the thread itself. Go into that rolled hem, make your stitch length really short, and it's beautiful. I mean, it's an easy way to finish off even the most difficult fabric. Think of chiffon, wedding veils, right? Think about uh, silk scarves, things like that such a practical use. And the funny thing is, is that 
We even use it for decoration purposes, not even just for practical and utilitarian purposes, but for decoration as well. Yeah, and you can a do a one. lot. You can do a lot with the stitches. And what's important to note is that when you get into that area where you're doing that narrow rolled hem, like magic, as you go to that setting, it retracts your stitch finger. So those two little fingers that Mike was talking about where your stitches get formed, well, only left is that little tiniest one, which right. is what gives you that tiny stitch. And in fact, that's the one stitch that you never could replicate on a home sewing machine. And it was the reason why I ended up with the serger a long time ago yeah. in my sewing room. It's a beautiful stitch. It really, is a beautiful really stitch. Now, baby lock sergers also have the ability by rotating this little knob back towards the machine to drop your cutting blade knife. And that's also a wonderful feature to have because you can do flat locking, which doesn't cut your fabric, but what it does is it meshes your fabric together and you can do some nice decorative stitching. So this machine with its vertical needles that go straight up and down with this nice presser foot lift that raises pretty high to six accommodate- Six millimeters. Six millimeters yeah. to accommodate thick fabrics. The differential feed, our jet air threading system, twin cam micromatic tension. I also love the fact that I'm going to do the little fancy yeah. storage. I can slide this open and now my favorite accessories that I need at my fingertips are right there. And I'm also going to mention we have a built-in needle threader. We do. Yeah, absolutely. Which I don't know. I, I don't think I own a machine that doesn't thread itself. Yeah. Needle wise. <laughs> right. And you know what? Seriously, there are people that cannot see to thread a needle. I can feel that pain. Don't Get yourself to a place where you can't do anything until you got somebody that can thread the needle. You can do it yourself. You just have the right machine. So yeah. that's essentially the Baby Lock Celebrate. 432 Thread Serger. You control the tensions yourself. Super easy to do. Nice instruction manual. Not only that, So Ed Video Library has a lot of content about how to get the most out of the machine. So if you are interested, you can always download a spec sheet of our products on our Baby Lock website. Just type in the word celebrate and go to machine specifications. You'll be able to download it and look at it. But there's a lot of additional feet that can be used on the machine yeah. for different techniques. There's a lot to be done with it. But again, this is our entry level machine. And now as we move up, Mike, I'm going to have you introduce the victory and what's different about it. So you can assume at most everything stays the same, but Victory's got some special features. Yeah, well, right off the bat, I think you guys can just look at the front of the machine and see the biggest difference, right? If we look at the uh, Celebrate, Linda pointed out that we have those four tensioning knobs. So that's gonna deal with both our overlock needle one, overlock needle two, and our upper looper and our lower looper. And we have to set the tensions for that. When we get up to the Victory, there's no tension knobs. They're gone, right? Even if I open my front door here, you're gonna see there are no tension knobs. And that's because we have automatic thread delivery system on this. And what's gonna happen is right here, you're gonna see that I have a new feature that is showing up on my machine. And this is going to be my stitch selector. And what this is going to allow me to do is as I go through and thread my machine, I'm gonna look at what's called my threading guide or my quick reference threading guide. And I'm gonna go in and set my stitch selector to whatever stitch that I want it to do. This, whatever I put on here, is going to automatically tell all of the tension discs that are located up here where they need to be. And actually, we just finished filming. Now, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, but I will say that you ought to look for a wonderful video that Doug Thompson, who's our lead technical trainer, has done about this ATD. So when we're talking about ATD, which stands for automatic thread delivery. We're not talking about the jet or threading feature. What we're really talking about is the absence of these tension knobs. There's a series of movable plates that exist inside of the machine. And in fact, what they do technically is they pull, measure, and store the perfect amount of thread for whatever stitch that you have selected. That means what you selected on your stitch selector knob. But not only that, it measures the thickness of your thread and mysteriously, it measures the thickness of your fabric. And on the inside, there's a series of cables. It does all the magic. You don't even need to know all that, but I will tell you, it's a flawless system it is. and it really does a fantastic job. And that's a huge step up feature. It and is. I'm glad you pointed that out first because I really do believe that that's one of the biggest differences, but there's more. It is, yeah. So we men we've mentioned a couple of times now how threading is easy on these machines. So I'm gonna reach back here and pull out one of our quick reference threading charts. This is for one of our other machines, but we'll have one that's very similar for this machine as well. And what this does is I'm gonna make sure that I'm on four thread overlock here, which is right here at the very top. 
This is a recipe card. I know, I love it. Yeah. Because I like to cook. I can follow yeah. a recipe. You well, can follow a recipe. I don't like to cook, but I can follow a recipe. <laughs> I can follow <laughs> so a recipe. I just go to Linda's house. All right, so across the top, it actually just tells me all of the settings that I need to put in to be able to get the stitch that's identified. Now, we've mentioned a couple of times that we talked color coding. Yes. right and this actual is actually is color coded as well so if you see across the top here i have a green background on the top of my header now we've already talked about the fact that these three machines we have sitting on our table now are all overlocked they're 432 overlock machines because of that everything's going to be green on this right. but as we move up the line you're going to see that we introduce a gold component because we're going to have different features that go into those machines so that'll be our eight thread sergers and we'll get there in just yep. a little bit but this is as easy as just following what's written here on the card. So one of the things that we do like to talk about is our instruction manuals right at the beginning of it. It does give you a familiarization, a couple of pages for familiarizing yourself with the actual machine itself. But we know not everybody likes to read manuals, right? People never read manuals. I'm the guilty party because I don't read them. I, I prefer to learn a different way. I, I like visual, but I, I'll, I'll admit I, I do read the manual. Yeah, of course you do, Mike. <laughs> yeah, but this is going to be the machine that we introduce our inspirational guides. So from this machine forward, we will have inspirational guides available for our machines. Now, what the inspirational guide is, is exactly what it sounds like, right? This is going to inspire you to get in there, to get familiar with your machine. And not only that, but it's going to teach you how to use all of the available accessories, the available feet. Now, I can tell you right off the top, there's 10 additional feet that are available for this particular machine. Same with the Celebrate. But we're going to go through and show you how in this book to not only use those feet, but when to use them, why to use them, how to use them. Yeah. And we also put that quick reference threading guide right in here in each one of the different setups so that you don't have to go looking for it. It's right there on the page. Yeah, I love that, yeah. Mike. And that's one of the reasons why we say that Baby Lock is all about education because we're sewers ourselves. We look at things and know that most people do not have the time to spend doing a PhD course on just how to use their <laughs> machine before they sit down with fabric. The thing that's always the hardest for machines is threading. We've taken that away. Now it's just really about creating. Another feature I'm gonna point out, and Mike, if you can make sure that my green notch on the outside is lined up, I'm gonna show you that when I have this lined up, I can engage the needle threader. And this needle threader is gonna come down and it's gonna do either the right or the left needle for me. And this is another feature that's built in. Again, I have a needle threader also on the Baby Lock Celebrate, but I like to point out the differences in them because as we move up the line, get it better. gets dramatically <laughs> different. Yeah, it gets yeah, better. No do. doubt it, it gets, gets better. better. So we still have a storage compartment on the we underneath right of the here. thread. Yep. And we still have differential feed. We have the same knobs for the stitch width, for lowering the knife. knife. We also still have that same vertical needle um, system. And if you look on the outside, I'm going to point out here that we have jet air threading and it says so on the outside. So now you can kind of understand the language that we put on our machines. And so basically the celebrate to the victory, you have an available inspiration guide. You have automatic thread delivery. You also have a quick reference threading guide because it's going to tie in to that stitch selector knob. And those are the biggest differences between the machines. And that's a big deal, it is. but you're sitting next to a really big deal. I am. This one is an amazing machine. So basically, if you want to think about this, we're going good, better, best, yes. right? And honestly, that's one of the things we encourage you to do when you're looking at your machines, go good, better, best. Yeah. And I always encourage people, if you can, buy up. Find the one you love, buy the next one up, because that's going to give you those extra features that you may think, oh, I don't need it right now. But then when you get home, you're like, oh, I really didn't need that. Yeah, right? <laughs> I've had people that have said to me, I thought it was going to be hard. And when I got home, I realized how easy it was. Then they're like, well, why didn't I move up in the line? So yeah. let's talk about the Acclaim and the features that it had, because right off the bat, you can see it's a bigger machine. Well, and let's talk about the bigger machine, right? Because now we're noticing that we have more space here in the throat of the machine. Why is that important? Well, honestly, it's whatever projects you're gonna work on, right? I do a lot of quilts. I know I do a lot of garments as well. I know you do a lot of garments, things like that. Whenever we're doing something that's gonna take a lot of space to the right of my needle, think about this. If I'm doing a quilt and I'm actually kind of trying to roll and put some things in as decorative stitches, I need some more space here. If I'm doing garments, like maybe I'm putting an arm's eye in or something like that, I need that extra space. So if you notice as we kind of come up, 
we've been kind of tight down here and now we're starting to get a little bit more room right. here, which is a big deal. But let's be clear because the fact of the matter is this is a four thread overlock and for the most part, you're gonna be cutting off the edges of your fabric. Right. But in sitting in front of a serger like that, I feel like I'm a little bit more scrunched here. When I get to the Acclaim, I actually have much better lighting. Mm -hmm. Notice how it's flooded in the front. Mm -hmm. You can actually see your work surface a little bit better. So you're not taking advantage of rolling a quilt up in that area right. so much that it does help you understand. But I think of it like driving down the highway and having concrete barriers on one side. Okay, fine, I can do that. <laughs> but but when I. they put that one on the other <laughs> side next to me, I feel a little restricted. Yeah, you absolutely. know, I don't ever hit them, but I feel a little restricted and that makes me feel like I've got a little bit more space. But it's yeah. it's bigger and it, it does bigger. a lot more too. I would also say too though, just because we said that, you know, normally we're not doing overlocks as decorative stitches, we never want to discourage that because we do use them yes, as decorative stitches. Yes, you absolutely stitch. can. And we can, Linda did show you a few minutes ago, we can lower that blade. Yes, so we we're not always cutting. So but we want to make sure that the other thing you're going to find is I've got a new mysterious knob here at the top, yeah. right? And this is something that is a trademark of Baby Lock. I love the wave yeah, stitch. Yeah, so this is the wave stitch. I love the wave stitch. This is a really, really cool feature. Now, there's a couple of things about the wave stitch. One, we have to go back to that um, quick reference threading guide. And if our machine has the wave stitch on it, which every machine from this one up, yes. that is an overlock machine does, if we have that, we're going to have to really pay close attention to our quick reference threading chart because that's really one of our first stitches that we're going to introduce where we're actually going to thread things in different ways, yes. right? We're going to cross some threads, things like that. But what's really nice about it is, again, our ATD is going to take care of all of this for yes. us. Now, if you don't know what the wave stitch is, basically it's a tension play, right? We're taking our upper looper and lower looper and we're alternating between the two. So we could put two decorative threads in our loopers and we have this really cool kind of serpentine stitch that goes over the top. Love it. And it's yes, so cool. Babe. And to change it, it's as simple as yeah, that and making sure you have it threaded correctly. Absolutely. That's it. So you're going to see that. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is Linda pointed out just a few minutes yes. ago that down on our machines, we've had that jet air threading, but now we have revolution air threading, right? Yes. So if I open this up, what you're going to see is no more pump, right? If we go back to our previous machine, you'll see that we have that little pump that's going to push our thread through. Now we actually have a button. So when we have this over in our threading mode, I'm going to go ahead and put it into threading mode. Again, I'm going to watch the inside here as I'm turning my uh, hand wheel towards me. Always towards you. Yeah, and I'm going to see those tubes close for me. And again, that's what's making it to where we can use these air systems to be able to do it. Once I've got my thread through the correct channels and down to my upper and lower loopers here, I'm just going to put a little bit of my thread in there, push the button, and just like that, it's going to shoot through the rest of the machine for me. Yes. I'm not having to do anything. We often get asked a lot of questions too about what do I do with a thread that's left here? You leave it alone. Yeah, <laughs> right? just let it lay. Where it lies is where it lies, right? Yep. So this is the first time that we're introducing revolutionary air threading and it is a big game changer. The jetter thread works beautiful, but Let's make it a little fancier. But Mike, there's a bonus also to revolutionary thread, and that is that you have threading for your needles as well. You do. And so over on the outside of your machine, when you engage that piece, what it will allow you to do is to blow the thread through the eye That's of the right. needle as well. It's a beautiful system and it works well. So the other things that we want to talk about that make it different, if you want to lift that up, you also have on the outside of the machine to the left, we have our ability to be able to adjust the presser foot pressure. And that's a nice thing, especially if you're working on lofty fabrics. Right. For me, I never change that, but it's certainly there for somebody yeah. who might need it. Also on the inside of the machine, you're gonna notice that we do have a knob that you can adjust your looper tension. And so if you want to not necessarily rely on the stitch selector knob, which is a different configuration. So the stitch selector right. knob here on the Victory is going to be this little round one. But for you now, it's on the outside and it actually shows you the areas that the waves are. So all mm -hmm. these little different incremental changes, that makes a big difference. But what you also have is that knob that will adjust it. So if you're working on really slick threads or threads, mm -hmm. I've seen Pearl Crown Rayon where yes. because the machine is balancing it, it gets it right on the edge. You might want to snug those threads down a little bit and that's what will give you the ability to do that. But if you look on the Celebrate and also on the Victory, you can't open this side of the door, but you can. And the reason why you have that here on the Acclaim is so that you can actually take a little vacuum cleaner and get that clean inside of there. We're thinking you're probably gonna do a lot more decorative stitching yeah. and you wanna clean up those threads. Absolutely, because as we're cutting, right, it's obviously gonna lint quite a bit sure. for us, but it's easy. 
you can go from one side to the other. A lot of more easy access here. Yep. The other thing too, is you're gonna notice that our storage compartment is much larger on this one. And instead of my thread moving at the top, now the actual compartment comes out to the side from the bottom. And this is where you're gonna find your accessory bag that's in there, but it's also a great place to keep anything that you may need like double eyed needles, yes. things like that. So this is really handy. And we've actually put a little magnet on the I top. Love that yeah. little magnet. <laughs> Which a lot of people don't think of. Yeah, you, need, you your don't needles. Lose, <laughs> because you don't lose your needle when you have that little magnet, you can stick it there. So right. those are a lot of great features. Again, we're building in the product line. All of these machines essentially do the same thing. There are four thread overlock machines that also have all the fun stitches that you can do, whether it's narrow rolled hemming or a three thread narrow, three thread wide. It's all in there. There's also a beautiful blanket stitch that you can achieve. Yes. Just a lot of fun stitches, but when you move all the way up to the acclaim, what you also have with that is the ability to do that wave stitch. Right. And so these three machines are really very nice if you're beginning to look at a serger to compare and contrast these. So Mike, before we go, is there any last thing that maybe I missed that we want to talk about? Well, you know, we didn't really miss it, but we didn't elaborate on it. We keep mentioning the fact that we have the ability to do flat locks, blanket stitch, that kind of thing. One of the things that's a big part of that is that we have to actually kind of trick out our machine a little bit, right? That's one of those things to where we're using two threads, but we have to make our machine think it's three. Now, how do we do that? Yeah, we do that with what we call a subsidiary looper. So I'm gonna open up the Celebrate, that's right here. Because all of our machines have the same feature when it does do overlock stitching. What you have built into the machine is actually a subsidiary looper which is going to pull out and then flip into place. And what this does is it covers up the hole for the upper looper so you don't have to have thread in the upper looper. But it will do is allow you to still form a chain. This is the two thread stitching. I'm glad you remembered it because Mike, that's a feature that's on all of our machines. Yeah. And I love it because for most other machine companies, you have to get your little accessory tray out and you have to find that little weird piece and you got to put it in there. And this is just built on. So that's a big convenience feature for for those of you that want to do that. It okay. really is. The other thing I will point out is we've never deducted anything as we moved yes. up the line, right? We've just continued to add, add, add. So the nice thing about this is if you start off somewhere in our lineup and later down the road, you decide you want to graduate up to the next level or maybe graduate all the way to the top of the line, all of those features that you've learned will carry forward with you. So you're not having to relearn what you've already learned, yeah. which I think that is just brilliant That's because a it's a wonderful way to kind of just jump right in and get your feet wet. Right? I agree. All right, so we're ready for the next tier of machines. And every one of these machines also has cover and chain stitch capability. And if you don't know what that means, you soon will. Now we're here with all of our machines that finish up the line that have cover and chain stitch capability in addition to overlock. And we have them set up in such a way that we want to demystify it. So Mike, do you want to explain? We can, yeah. So what we've done here, if you notice on our thread stands, we've introduced that hot pink thread like Linda mentioned before we left the last segment. And so you're gonna notice that we have four purple and four hot pink on our first two machines. And then on our last machine, we only have the four hot pink. What we've done is everything that constitutes working with our chain cover stitch, we've denoted that by adding the hot pink thread in the position that they would be on the thread stands. So if we're looking at our accolade and our triumph, you're gonna notice that we've actually increased the number of spools. We've increased from the four spools that we normally have to eight. So now we're leaving that four, three, two setup that we had before, and now we're on an eight thread serger. Now, when we get to the uh, euphoria down here, then we'll talk about that last yeah. and we'll talk about how that's different. But let's start with the accolade because yeah. the accolade is a big step up again from where we left off in the last segment. So do you want to talk a little bit about some of the wonderful features that are inside uh, of the accolade? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love a machine that's got this much capability. You know, <laughs> there used to be a commercial that was called the Certs Mint. It was two mints in one, but this is two machines <laughs> in one. And for somebody who has a small amount of space in your sewing room, you may not want a separate machine for overlocking and a separate machine for cover hemming. Now, if you do, we have you covered. But for somebody who's looking for just one machine that does all of it, you can begin with the Baby Lock Accolade. And so this is an eight thread serger and it does actually 87 different stitch combinations, uses a multitude of feet and attachments. And this is where you really can get to a lot of commercial application. And by that, I mean that we have attachments that will help you do 
belt loops, but yeah. you don't just use them for belt loops. You use them for all kinds of other things. You can do fabric weaving and such, and we've got a lot of projects about it. But this machine has five different needle positions. So as Mike was just mentioning, these three threads right here, and again, I want to point out, this is a color-coded machine. So if you were to look down on top of the machine, you're going to see that it says chain needle one, chain needle two, chain needle three, and then what we have is a corresponding thread mast up at the top where each one of the threads are going to go. And so here is where you begin looking at the machine in a different way. Now, these four spools of purple thread, those are my standard overlock stitches. So let me draw your attention to the fact that I have my stitch selector knob. I'm gonna open up my door because at this angle, I can't see it. But my stitch selector knob right here has those letters A, B, C, and D. You probably even noticed that I also have my differential feed that goes all the way up here to gathering, down here to stretching my fabric out. I also have my same vertical needles. I also have my stitch width knob and my lower large knob that controls my stitch length. And so these things are all the same, but we've added to it. And that's where you really do end up getting a lot more creativity. Now, the Accolade is the first machine in the line that does both, and it does it very, very well. And we've actually had this machine in our line under different names in the past for quite some time. It's our very first eight thread serger and it's been a real success for us. Right, and we wanna talk that we're still gonna carry through with our air threading on this as well. Yes. But now you'll notice on the front that we have a different name. Yes. So you wanna talk about that? Yeah, extraordinary threading. And so we've already talked about jet air threading and we talked about revolutionary threading, but what is this extraordinary threading? Well, I'm gonna open up the doors to show you that I can clean this area out as well. But when I open up this door over here, what you're going to see is that I have the same electronic threading system. If I move this from surging to threading and then reach over and rotate my hand wheel, now my tubular looper is engaged so that it can blow through the thread. But what I don't have is I don't have the mechanism that can thread my needles. So what this system, extraordinary threading, means is that you have this threading system, a motorized threading system for the loopers only. But we include a very cool needle threader and that's tucked away underneath this accessory compartment that's on all of our machines. We do, and it's not hard to learn how to use that either. Nope. It was one of those things, honestly, when I first started playing with it, I'm like, oh, now I've got to thread a needle. And now I'm just kind of like, okay, thread the needle and right. it's gone, right? But you know, we still love our automatic needle threaders, but that's okay too. Yeah, so we're talking about cover and chain stitching and you may be saying to yourself like, okay, but what is that? <laughs> if you ever put on a knit shirt or a bathing suit or you wear anything that is stretchy, you already know what that is. And that's that wide stitching, or it's a little bit closer together, and that's a cover stitch. And what this is really used well for, and that's why it's called a cover hem, is it hems your shirt, yeah. right? But it can also be used for all kinds of decorative purposes. And so we do have, for this machine as well, a wonderful inspirational guide, again, which really helps you understand how to set the machine up for those different stitches, but most importantly, where you would use them. So a cover hem can be done with three needles, with two needles that are widely spaced apart, or two needles that are closer together. You've got a lot of choices with them, and with them also comes different feet and attachments that you can use. Now, when we talk about a chain stitch, we're talking about using just one of these threads in conjunction with a chain looper. So when you're doing a cover hem, you're going to use any one of these threads, two of them, your choice of which two or all three, and you're gonna use a chain looper, and that's what is essentially your bobbin thread. But man, can you do a lot with a cover and chain stitch machine? You really can't. One of the other things I really wanna mention is, you know, the Sew at Home classes that we have. That's a wonderful library, as you mentioned before, it's well over a thousand videos. Because of the fact that we've already walked through three of our machines, we're walking through the final three here. One thing to know is that, say you decide you're going home with a Triumph, that doesn't mean just watch the Triumph videos. Oh no, you're that right. That means go back and watch all of the videos prior to that because since the Triumph's the top of the line, and I know we haven't talked about that yet, but when you get to the top of the line, everything that was below it will apply to that as well. So even though you may see that there's only X number of Triumph videos, really there's a whole lot more than that because they're gonna be underneath the other names Certainly. as well. You're, you're exactly yeah. right. And then Mike, let's talk a little bit because like I think you all agree, it's a great quality product. They can do a lot, but 
who is somebody that would actually get great use out of it? And if you're not a sewer that's doing garments, is this really a machine for you? And what do you have to say to that? So I'm a quilter, I quilt a lot. And I will tell you right now, I can't remember the last time I pieced a quilt on my sewing machine. I actually piece my quilts on my starter. And I will use both my chain stitch to yes. do my piecing. And I have to admit, I'll sometimes use my overlock to do my piecing as yes. well, just because of the fact that it's a clean finish. And one of the questions we get a lot about that is, if you are doing it to where you're what we call quilting by check, taking it to a long armor, how does the long armor feel about that? Well, I've got news for you. I'm a long armor too. Yes. And it's actually easier sometimes to long arm a surged quilt than it is to long arm a quilt that's been pieced because we're finishing off those edges if we're using overlock. If we're using the chain stitch, it's the exact same principle as if we were using our sewing machine. True. So and I, I do love time. yeah, and I do love this. This is your bobbin. Never runs out. <laughs> so if you've been looking for a machine where you don't have to stop to re-thread the bobbin and wind another bobbin, guess what? Get a machine that does have cover and chain stitch capability because you could have 3,000 yard bobbin and that's gonna last you a long time. A while, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it will last you for a long yeah, time. Yeah, and even though now up here we've got cotton on, on, our, on our machines, but you could use polyester, you could use rayon, you could use whatever. So even though we've got the larger cones on here, our machines are adaptable to the standard cones or the standard spools as well. So just because we're showing it to you with the larger cones, doesn't mean you can't go use the smaller spools. And we actually have adapters that are coming with the machines to let them sit up higher yes. on here. You even get thread nets. So if yeah. I'm messing with something that's All a little bit harder. All the accessories that you there. need. Yeah. So let's talk about this. So when we had the other three machines on the table, we were able to go through and say what the step up features were. Yeah. But if you can just follow along with me, I'd like to talk to you about the differences between the acclaim and the accolade, because I, I wanna bring it home. We don't have all of them on the table right now, but I think you'll remember as I'm pointing this out, we have this wave overlock stitch selector. So that does mean that we've got that step up stitch that we didn't have on the celebrate or the victory but beyond that we do have a little bit of a drop down i would say maybe if you were looking at the type of threading for the machine because this does not have the threading for the needles however it does have the motorized threading for the looper so we always say we don't take anything away but yes what we don't have is that needle threading capability but the needle threader is super easy to use the next thing that i would tell you is it's about the same size of machine you do have the ability to open up the door you do have generous lighting on it although it's not the the same bright lighting that's in the front but again you're getting all kinds of additional stitches so the big step up is cover and chain stitch 87 different stitch combinations a multitude of feet and attachments that can be used on the machine there's a lot and actually right behind me i have one of the um, accessory bags that have feet and attachments in it i'm just going to pull this over because when you buy a machine this is your future so the machine by itself without adding any additional feet or attachments you can do a lot with it but you add this well this changes everything because what it gives you is kind of production style capability you can sew over those strands of pearls. You can insert fishing line into a, a bridal veil or a dress that you're making. You can do lace. lace. You can yeah. do, we actually use the lace applicator foot when we do our um, chain piecing because yeah. it helps you do a perfect or a scant quarter inch piecing stitch and the list goes on and on. There's Elastic bias binders, piece. yeah, the, yeah, you name it. There's um, downturn fellers, it'll turn down the fabric. So a lot to see and all you have to do is jump out to the Baby Lock website because again, I like a machine that I can grow into. Right. I don't like anybody to tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else like me or am I the only one? I don't like to be I told no. Okay, but, but that's what we're talking about when we're talking about a machine like the Accolade. So you can see it has the same system, all of these same features. I'm also gonna point out, this is a safety feature, so the machine will not sew if this door is open. That's an inherent feature on all of our machines that have this motorized threading system. But when you are done looking at the Accolade, the next machine, which is the top of the line, is a Triumph. Talk about the step up features. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna be honest with you. This is this machine I sew on every day. I love it. First of all, right off the bat, look at the size, right? When we look at the size and we're comparing it to what we've looked at so far, this is definitely my largest footprint, 
but because of the large front front, we're getting a really good return on our workspace here. So we actually have five inches of clearance from the right of the needle. So that is a huge thing because we're still at an eight thread, right? So we have that chain cover stitch and we have our overlock stitch. The chain cover stitch, which you're gonna find if you've never played with chain cover stitches, a lot of times we do use those in the middle of projects yeah. or And things. I want you to talk about that because when we were looking at the Acclaim earlier yeah. and I kind of said, yeah, you've got that space to the side, there's about three inches, you're not really using it, uh, you use it here. You do, yeah, because really and truly, like when we're starting to talk about our chain cover stitching, they are highly decorative stitches. They're functional stitches as well, but they're highly decorative stitches also. So when we're going through and we're looking at this, having this extra space over here really plays to our advantage. We're actually gonna be able to go in and you can roll your fabric and get yes. quite, I will tell you right off the bat, I've actually done twin and queen size quilts on yes. this to where I've used the chain and the cover stitch to do some embellishment on the quilt and been able to roll that in here with no problem. Yeah, it so, can be straight lines and you can even do curves, meandering, meandering lines. Yeah. So it really does work well for it. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't think about our sergers for things like quilting, but it's not only that, bag making, if you're a big bag maker, doing things for kids, doing anything you can think of really. I mean, the sky's the limit. If you can think of it, chances be, you can probably use your serger on it in some way, shape or form. Now, I'm not saying that everything can be done from completion on the serger yeah, at all times. You can't times. do buttonholes. You cannot do buttonholes. You cannot do buttonholes. I will figure that out one day. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> but so, I do believe yeah. that the Triumph represents really a, a truly wonderful experience. It would be a machine of a lifetime. And certainly a lot of people, they start with the machine um, below that, and then they add a machine like the Triumph. So let's talk about the threading system because yeah, we do have- Yeah, we're back to Revolutionaire here. Yeah. And if you remember back when we talked about Revolutionaire, the difference between going from extraordinaire to revolutionaire is that when I open this up, I'm still going to have my electric threading for my upper looper, my lower looper, my chain looper. But if we throw yeah. this into threading and turn our hand wheel, what you're going to see yeah. is that Linda's going to be yeah, able to see. drop our needle threaders over there. Yeah. There you go. And it comes down and then here's what you do. You pick, am I threading it for overlock stitches yeah. or am I threading it for cover and chain stitches? And then all I have to do is push that little motor and it'll send it where you want to go. I have to tell you, Mike, I was a retailer for a long time and the only phone calls that I got about sergers that people would have an issue with it, I'd have to say really nicely, um, it's something that you're doing. And it's yeah. because they're so easy. They'll say, well, my thread only went through one of the ports. I'm like, well, it's a jet air threader and you have to direct the air to the other port and then it'll go. Yeah. Or they had their upper looper selector down because they were doing cover and chain stitching. And like, my thread won't thread, it won't go through. <laughs> and I'm like, open up your machine. Is it laying in a puddle at the bottom? Yeah, well, you didn't engage. So the little things, but again, this is where our inspirational guides right. make a huge difference in your learning journey, that your relationship with your retailer. So I think sometimes people hesitate to buy something new because they think that the learning curve is gonna be great. And they think that they're not gonna really be, I mean, come on, like you guys are professionals. You do it all the time. I can't learn. <laughs> but we had to learn too. But not only that, I I have taught young children yes. how to be successful with the serger faster than than most adults because they have no fear. And this is the big secret. Speed control. Speed control. Yeah. So this is a big feature on here. And this is really nice because this literally limits how fast I can go. So we if we have it all the way over to the right, we're still up at that 1,500 stitches per minute. If we're over to the left, it goes a lot slower and crawls, no matter how heavy your foot is, right? right? So I love this, especially if I'm doing something where I'm using specialty threads or I'm kind of dealing with maybe a little bit of a fussy fabric. Yeah. This is a there great way to use fabrics. it. Yeah. So this is great. The other thing that we're gonna say here on this one that I love, and this is another safety feature is, the Triumph will not stitch with the presser foot up. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when the presser foot is up. So he's gonna raise it. From from the perspective of the sewer, it still looks like it's down, but it's not, it's up. But it's going to alert you and it won't allow you to sew. That's a wonderful feature to have in the machine. These little ports here on the side, this is what allows you to use those really thick, thick heavy yeah. threads. You know, these machines are really designed with the sewer in mind, somebody who really wants to explore creativity and quite frankly, get their money's worth right. out of the machine, which Absolutely. is a big deal to me. So we've been talking about our chain cover stitch and the one thing we haven't really talked about is that we have an accessory that goes with our machine that actually is specifically for our chain cover stitch. So I'm gonna kind of reach up here and if you'll do the same on your okay. machine, this is actually called our knife cover. 
right? And if I pull this off and you pull yours off, it's just a little uh, tension pinch down here at the bottom. And if we kind of pull it to the front, you'll see that we have a little area here that covers our knives. And you'll also see that we have some measurement markings and things on here that you can learn about from any of our educational videos right. of how to use those. But if we both reach back, I think we've got our tables back here. I've got my, yeah. okay, let's look at them side by side. This tells the story, <laughs> it does, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, this because we're talking about how much room we have on that machine versus how much room we have yep. on this machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by actually lowering our upper looper because when we're using our chain cover stitch, we don't need our upper and lower yep. looper. Leave so we're going to go down. ahead and turn that. We're going to take it off the threading, rotate the handle toward us until that upper looper recesses down. Then you could put it in threading if you wanted to. If you're going to go to threading, you don't have to. But now you'll notice that that upper looper is kind of snugged away in there. I'm going to take and yep. Raise this up just Yeah, a do you need bit. help, Mike? I know, I'm kind of reaching all the way you across the table. You are reaching all the way across the table. I'll it's hold up if you push that. Teamwork, <laughs> there you go. teamwork, watch That's your right. fingers. Okay. So now that we have that on there, you see that we have this really yeah. nice area. It's yeah. our threader. There's our safety feature. Our safety feature. So now we can actually go in and we have a sewing table for that chain cover. So that's what people ask all the time. Like, should I really go for the Triumph or should I stay with the Accolade? And this is where we were talking right away about take your fabric to the store and try it out. Like, you don't know what you don't know. Right. And so it may very well be that you don't need this extra space. You know, the type of sewing that you see yourself doing for the foreseeable future may not need that space. But if you have it, I promise you, you'll use it. And this, that's a big wide surface. And let's talk about the holes. Yes. <laughs> so if you notice, whenever we were holding the tables up and comparing the two, over on the Accolade, we've got two holes. Over yes. on the Triumph, we have four. The reason for that being is, is we have accessories that we yes. can actually use with these machines. Again, we're not bringing out all the accessories to talk about them here, but we do have that listed on our website. Right. It'll show you what works. But one of the things that's really nice about our Triumph is we brought in some accessories that previously only worked on our chain cover stitch machines. Now they'll work on our Triumph. Right. So if you don't know what our chain cover stitch machine is, that's what this is sitting next to me. We'll talk about that in a second. But the one thing let's talk about too is the ease of changing our feet on this because as we go in and yes. we start using our feet, yeah. I'm going to raise my presser foot and then you'll notice Linda's just going to push a little button on the back of the ankle there and the foot just pops off. To put a new foot on, you just slide it from the side yeah. and notice that I have this little bit of play. This is really important, right? Because I can actually push up and get it to go up a little bit higher. And But I'm going to show something else before I do that, Mike, and I'm going to take this foot actually off of this machine as well. I'm going to reach around here. We're not in the most convenient That's uh, okay. positions, are but, we? <laughs> but this is a big story about baby lock machines in general. And so that is that even on something as simple as the foot, so this is the Triumph and this is the one for the Accolade, there are some slits here on the standard foot. And this is where you can feed in twill tape or ribbon, ribbon yep. or a clear elastic, and you can build a stay for shoulders. So if you've ever looked at the way that commercial mm -hmm. garments are made, they take full advantage of using some things that will give your garment longevity a and a professional look. It really does look nice. We've thought of everything. It's actually built into the feet themselves. And so that's what these little holes are. It's not because you need air <laughs> to go through the foot because it's so, so fast. It's really to put to put well, that's uh, something there different. No, it is there. It's your hydroplaning <laughs> with hydroplaning. the surgeon. Well, we should also point out too, since you're pointing that out, on our feet, on the general foot, which is the BL foot, which is what this one is, right. you'll notice that each one of our, our needles have a demarcation on the foot as well. Yes. So when we're Thank stitching you. with certain needles, we know exactly where to line our fabric up so that that needle goes right. directly into that position. Yeah, so what Mike is talking about is these little registration marks. So if you were the sewer, you'd be looking right at this foot and you could right. see, well, my goodness, that just lines right up with that different needle, which really and truly, those are the little tips that make you a great, great. sewer yeah. because you get things to go where you want them to go. These are all very well thought out. I love all these features on it. And you can see my knife is tucked up because mm -hmm. I would definitely put he him downstairs if I was going to yep. do I can't help it. But okay, so now the Euphoria and the Triumph, they look a lot alike. Well, that's because <laughs> they are a lot alike, <laughs> right? Lot so alike. basically what we've done here is we've taken what you're familiar with on the Triumph and we've removed the overlock side of the Triumph so that we wind up with just a chain cover stitch machine. So if we go back to our color story with our threads, you're gonna yeah. notice back on the Accolade and the Triumph, yeah. we had purple and pink. Now I only have pink. So the three pinks that you see over on the left-hand side of these two machines are the first three that I see here. 
this would be my chain looper. So, so see what we just did there? We made it really easy for you to discern. So if you're at a baby lock retailer store, hopefully yeah. they're putting their machines on the floor with two different colors. It doesn't have to be pink and purple. It can be any two colors. But when you see this, don't let it intimidate or confuse right. you because all this means is you've got the two machines in one, you get to have dual personalities. You don't have to make a choice. And over here with the Euphoria, now what you have is just a machine that just can a cover chain. chain. Yeah. So how do you use a machine when it's just cover and chain? Uh, there's so many ways it's impossible to sit here and say, but for the most part, one of the things that you'll see is that people who do a lot of garment construction and the type of stitching that's associated with garment construction, they may find it easier to have a separate overlock machine and a separate cover chain stitch machine because in one garment, you'll find both types of stitches. So even though on our combination machines, which is what we would refer to right. our eight threads, it's very simple to go from one stitch to the other. Right. If we're mass producing or we're doing a lot of sewing in a day to where we're switching back and forth, if you've got that real estate, yeah. it's nice to have both or machines. Or if you're just a spoiled brat, <laughs> like me, I like to have two separate yeah. machines. Now, the big drawback is you have to have eight cones of the same color thread if, in fact, you're trying to match everything. Right. But really and truly, it's a seamless, that's a sewing term, it's a seamless, a seamless way of going from one technique to the next because that's truly what's happening is you're going from one technique to the next. And I love that we've got a lot of different choices. So the Euphoria as a cover stitch only machine looks a lot like the Triumph. But if I was looking for a separate, let's just say, for example, somebody who's watching this is like, I've already got a great baby lock serger. And yeah, I like cover home capability. That sounds like a good solution. Do you agree? Just buying Absolutely. that as a separate machine? Absolutely, yeah. If you've already got a combination machine and you find yourself really doing a lot of maybe just your overlock on that machine, just because maybe you just don't find the time to go in and switch it over to cover chain. Say maybe you jump over onto your sewing machine to do a straight stitch. I could go over to, and get a individual cover chain stitch machine give myself that added ability to do cover stitching, right? Because right. a chain stitch sort of emulates a straight stitch. Yes. It's a little bit different, but to get that actual cover stitch, I'm gonna need a cover chain stitch machine. I can't emulate that with my sewing machine, at least not very easily. Yeah, and right? the one other thing that I would say is that I think that of all the stitches that we've used decorative thread on in the office, the one stitch that I think is the most beautiful with decorative is actually a chain stitch. It's a single needle yeah. with heavy decorative thread in the chain looper. It doesn't even look like what you think it would be. I've seen very effective ways of quilting, actually thread painting, so to speak, on a big piece of fabric, Absolutely. and then you can cut out your pattern. So you're making your own fabric. You well, can do some beautiful things. And the really cool thing about a, a chain cover stitch, both, is that they're two-sided and two different looks. Yes. So if I'm looking at the top of a chain stitch or a cover stitch, it has one look to it. If I flip that over, it's a completely different look. So where I place my decorative thread becomes a big important thing as well. So there's a lot of techniques that you can do with this. I think hopefully one of the things you're seeing as we've gone through this is that most people think of sergers as utilitarian only, and they're really not. They are so much more than just utilitarian machines. Yeah. But one of the things about the Euphoria that you'll notice is that it does look exactly like the Triumph except for the thread setup. And when we look at what's in here, it's going to look very similar to the same features that we have here. So if we look, you're going to notice down here we have that extraordinary threading. So the reason for that being is, is if I pull this open, you'll still see that we have the electric threading for our chain looper. And again, that's the only looper that we have because it doesn't have overlock. But then as far as our actual needle goes, we have a little bit of a different setup. So I'm going to make sure that this is in threading, yeah. make sure my tubers are locked and I'm gonna push this down and you'll notice that it does drop down yeah, just it. like, but it is a different system because we're on a chain cover stitch machine. We have three needles, not yes. five. And so here we have to assign what needle we're gonna be going into. So it is a little bit of a different threading system. Yeah, but it's a great so threading easy. system. So you just lift that up, mm -hmm. it pops up pretty easily. And then if you look, there's a little slider. So you get to pick which needle, C1, C2, or C3, it directs it. You could do it as a single hand because it pauses there. So you can just tuck the thread across it and it pulls it back through. So as I'm looking at these machines, obviously from the Triumph to the Euphoria, we're losing all of the four thread features. Right. But if I wanted to have two separate machines and I had the Euphoria, what would be your pick for a four thread machine to fill in that other side? I would definitely go with the Acclaim, which was the top of the last set of machines that we had True. sitting here because that's gonna give me all of the features that we've been talking about up to a certain point 
with ease of use, all of that. But then when you combine the two machines together, we're basically yeah. You're not losing anything, right? Not you're losing not losing anything. the yeah. wave stitch. You're not losing that bright white light that comes right. down here, and you then end up having everything. So I've really enjoyed going through all of the different machines and seeing the differences. And I hope that as you've been watching, Mike and I discuss some of this and, and seeing a lot of the activities and the, the samples that the machines can create, it starts to help you understand what you can do and what the real potential is of a baby lock serger in your sewing room. And I really think that no matter where you end up in the line, just know this, that you're buying a superior quality product that is meant to last for years. And there's going to be a lot of support for you all over the place. So any other parting words on these machines other than there are accessory foot kits available for all of them. There are inspirational guides, there's video, there's our retailers, there's inspiration everywhere. I really find that I can't do any real sewing without my serger next to me because I've gotten so accustomed to it. How about you? Oh, I'm the same way. I, I serge, every time I sew, I serge. Yeah. Which is pretty normal, you know? I mean, I think that once you get a surgery, that becomes the norm. But why don't we do this? Why don't we get the entire line back up here and go through and show it off one more time, and then we'll wrap up and say goodbye. So there you have it. I'll bet you feel like you really have learned a lot. It's been fun. It has. It's been a blast. And I absolutely love talking about our machines because not only are we the people that train on these machines and we sell these machines, but... We're users of these machines, right? We truly are, Mike. I know that for any of you that are watching that have probably gotten to a place where you're thinking, yeah, I do think of baby lock surgeries in my future. This is our invitation to you. Grab the fabrics that you have at home that you sew on most of the time. And wouldn't you say, Mike, yeah. get in front of a machine, check out where your local baby lock retailer is because they're the ones that are gonna help you when it's ultimately said and done, they're the ones that are gonna help you figure out exactly which is the best machine for you and what are the products maybe you need to take with you when you buy your machine. Absolutely. And there's never a better idea than sewing on what you normally sew on. Yeah. So taking your fabrics is a great recommendation there. But make friends with that Baby Lock retailer. They're going to be your retailer for life. They're going to help you. They're going to extend all of that extra training, the extra education. They're there to support you, right? Yeah. And we love our retailers. So go talk to them. Let them give you the demo. We have some wonderful demos that we do on our surgers and stuff. But most of all, test drive those machines and see what all they can do for yeah. sure. So there's a lot to see in a baby lock. And just remember this, that once you're a part of our family, you're a part of a huge community of people that not only love to sew, but love to share what they do. So be sure to remember to check out our babylock.com website, where you can find a lot of inspiration and projects to put your new machine to use. You can also check out our baby lock surgery communities, follow us on YouTube and be a part of the conversation. It'll change your life. It certainly did mine. Absolutely. And keep those machines running. All right, have fun. See you next time. Bye. Well, what'd y'all think, guys? That was a lot of information. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, great job by Linda and Mike. I think y'all have seen Mike. Uh, Johns has been on our shows uh, many times, and, and uh, you know, both of them are just so great and such good educators. And, but guys, I tell you, if that doesn't get you excited about surging, I don't know what will, uh, you know, surging is a little intimidated because it had such a, you know, cloud over it for years about how hard it was to thread. And, and, you know, people, we actually used to have a service to where people bring their surgers in and we, it was a threading service. Yeah. We would thread their surgers and charge them <laughs> for it because people hated doing it. It was so, you know, labor intensive, but now, uh, guys, it is so easy. It is easy as threading your sewing machine, uh, you know, with the automatic threaders. So it really is. It, really is. it is. It's incredible. So, you know, we have a really good lineup, guys. We have great surging. And I'll tell you what, you know, uh, think about your your clothing that you wear. Everything on your clothes is you they use sergers and things on all those, you know, different uh, type of threads. And then I've seen some people that have used their serger with making a quilt, piecing the yeah. quilt and doing the borders and using those decorative stitches and things. And it really just sets it apart. It's really unique. And so if you're looking for things like that, you know, you can use, you know, I think, uh, I think it was, uh, I'm trying to remember, what was the uh, surgery lady that we had? Uh, Melinda or Rosemary? Rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. Rosemary. Uh, is it Keen? Rosemary. Yeah. Rosemary. Yeah. Keen. Rosemary Keen. I remember having a conversation with her one day and, 
and we were talking about different things. She goes, you know what? She goes, I could get, I could get by in my life by just having a surgery, not even having a sewing machine, anything else. She goes, I could do everything with the surgery. Yeah. And so that just tells you the power of surgery. So guys, I hope that y'all really enjoyed all that information, but we're going to tell you how you can get one. We're going to start out with a celebrate. Now the celebrate, this is the entry level air threader. Now they have the vibrant is, you know, below this, uh, but the, this is the first air threader that they offer guys. The price on it is incredible. Uh, under a thousand dollars, $999. We have some different, uh, programs available. Uh, give us a call. If you're interested in getting a surgery, I know there's a lot of the SMP nation out there has a celebrate and they absolutely love it. Uh, this will get you in. This is a fantastic surgery. It's extremely lightweight, has the air threading on it and you can be, you can get it in and be up and surging in five minutes. It's oh, that yeah. it's so easy. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, give us a call right now, 800-401-8151. Uh, Nick's team are all standing by on the phones over there, and uh, they can talk you through all the different surgeries we've had on the show today. If you're watching on a computer or your tablet and you have your cell phone where you can take a picture, you can put it in the photo mode like you're going to take a picture and just go up and put it on that uh, uh, QR, code. QR code up there in the right hand corner of the screen right now and it'll take you right to the product page for the celebrate all right so let's move on to our next one the victory this is the victory and i tell you again great price on this and linda and mike talked about you know there's just when you move up the line you're just getting the you know more features and things as you go up now again uh the price on this is 14.99 we have some programs and packaging and uh financing available so uh, if you are in a market for one of these, these surgeries, give us a call right now, uh, 800-401-8151. Again, we have that QR code up in the top right-hand corner. Uh, if, you have, if you're not watching on your mobile device, you're watching on something else, you can use your cell phone. Again, just like you're going to take a picture, it'll actually you know, focus on that and it'll open up in your browser and take you right to the, the product page for the victory. Or if you're on your phone, look in the links in the description box and we have links to all of the surgeries that we talked about yeah. today. And do. the other thing they can do, Kennedy, is they can just go to smplive.tv yep. and yep. we have all the surgeries on there and you can see the picture of it and the name and just click on it. It'll take you right to the product page on that surger. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one in the lineup that they talked about. We're going to go with the Euphoria. Euphoria. Now, this is a cover stitch uh, also. So you're going to have the cover stitch surger all, all combined here. Again, guys, the price on this is $15.99. Now, when you're getting into, the, when you're having a combo machine like this, you're actually getting into a little bit more weight of a machine. These are a little heavier. They're not going to be real lightweight and portable like this, the, the first two that we showed you. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you know, this is not going to be any more cumbersome than a, just a normal combination sewing machine that you're going to have sewing in exactly. embroidery. Uh, but again, guys, $15.99 is the price on this. We have some, uh, you know, packages and, and financing of, uh, options available and things. Give us a call, 800-401-8151. Up in the top right corner is that QR code. And then again, you can go to smplive.tv. And you'll see the uh, euphoria there. You can just click on it. It takes you right to the product page. Yep. Let's talk about the Acclaim next. Now, this is absolutely my favorite. Oh, yes. And, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the reason I like the Acclaim so well, it still is that smaller footprint of Serger. It's extremely lightweight. I think this thing is under 24 pounds. I think, yeah. I think it's right at 24 I, pounds. It's extremely yeah. lightweight. And this one, you're getting... All the features that the Celebrate, the Victory had, but then you're getting some more features. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really like about this one. I think for the value, uh, this is an incredible value of what you're getting. And it's not tremendously really expensive. No. And you know? this machine also has the wave stitch, which a lot yes. of you guys were talking about. Yeah. The wave stitch. This is what gets you into the wave stitch yes. is when you get to this. And that's why I like this is because it gives you a lot more options of stitches and things. So I think, you know, depending on your, your price point and things you're looking at in your budget, you know, this is, if you can afford it, you know, I think Linda said it best. Don't, if you're wanting to get a surgery, don't start with the entry level. If exactly. you can afford to go ahead and get the one above it, because you're going to, once you start surging, then you're going to be wanting other things that the other surgers have mm -hmm. and you won't have it. So then, you know, invest your money once they say, 
I mean, so I, I don't tell think you so many people who have gotten, say, a celebrate and then they grew into it and then they wanted more features. So they upgraded and they kept going and they kept going <laughs> yeah. and it happens and you could do that. But if you can get the acclaim, I'm, I'm with Blaine on this one. Yeah, I, this is my favorite one. Again, guys, we have that QR code up in the top right hand corner. You can just scan that. It'll take you right to uh, the product page or you can just go visit smplive.tv. Again, uh, $24.99 is the price. We have some different packaging. Uh, some financing available and things. So give us a call right now, 800-401-8151. Yes, All right. let's talk about the Accolade. So the Accolade, again, you're getting a cover stitch, you know, surging machine. Uh, this one you're getting, uh, this is the, the, the big eight thread. So you're getting yes. the big bells and whistles here, the combo mm -hmm. machine, uh, $34.99. And what's nice about the Accolade, it is a smaller footprint machine. It's not, you know... Smaller throat space. Yeah, it's you know it's smaller, uh, very portable. Uh, this has been a very popular one as well. Uh, but again, guys, the QR code is right up on the top right hand corner. Uh, go to smplive.tv, uh, click on that product, and then again, you know, give us a call if y'all have any questions about any of these. Just give us a call at 800-401-8151. And, and also, we do carry a so steady extension table for surgers that you can get if yeah. you are having an issue with the throat space just to extend that more so you work well you know that's close. what makes it nice kennedy yeah it does give you more work area mm -hmm. and you know surgers don't have a big work area exactly. and uh, with that the extension table putting on there and i think the extension tables are all under 60 dollars. i believe so i think the surge one might be 99 but was we'll it I th on that. yeah i thought there was I think there's one that's lower price. Yeah, I think there's one. It's a lower price one, but yeah, I think it's under 60, if I'm not mistaken. But 18 inches square all the way around. I yeah. mean, if you're a quilter, that might be the one for you. But anyway, when you call <laughs> in, just ask them about this. If you are interested in the extension table too from So Steady, just ask them about that, which one would fit and the price on it. I, I can't remember exactly the price on that, but I know there's one available yes. for it. Uh, but again, guys, give us a call 800 401 8151. And now the talk of the town, Blaine. The oh. Triumph. The Triumph. So, guys, now let me tell you a little bit about the Triumph. The Triumph is the top of the line one, and uh, you know, Surger. Now, what the deal with the Surger is uh, with this one? This one you can only buy in your retail stores. You can't buy it online yet. Not, I'm going to say yet because yeah. I think mm -hmm. of in the future we'll be able to sell this online. But right now, you can only get it in the retail stores. Now, what I've got, if you're local in Southern California, the reason we're showing this. You know, we're going to just, hey, encourage you, if you're wanting the top of the line, uh, one of these, go to your, go see your local retailer or just give us a call even at our 800 number. We can tell you all about this and, and, mm -hmm. the, and the pricing and everything on it. But even call our local retail stores. If you're uh, in Southern California, you can call our San Marco store, uh, which is up by Escondido. Uh, the number up there, you see it's a 760-739-8222. Mm -hmm. And then we have a San Diego store. Uh, down in San Diego, it's 858-225-2739 is their number. You can call either one of those and, you know, just schedule an appointment to get it, you know, to go in and just get a demo. They can sit down yeah. with you and do demonstrations with you and show you how to use it. But again, there's a QR code up there. You can hit that, uh, scan that in. That'll take you to the product page. You can see about it, read about it. Yeah, we have tons of information for yeah. the try up on the website. And then uh, I can't tell you the price of this one over on air. Uh, because it's a retail, uh, you can only buy it in retail stores. And uh, but anyway, uh, this one, if you're interested in that, it, you know, it's the top of the line, so you can kind of figure that out for yourself. Just some of the price points that we've showed you already. Uh, but again, you know, this has been a really popular uh, surger as well. Oh yes, all the comments I've seen, everybody, everybody wants to try them. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, if y'all are in the market for surgery, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, uh, right now, you know. Baby Locks set the standard for surgers. I mean, they oh, really did. They had air threaders before anybody else. They've had surgers for 30 years. So a lot of uh, technology has been put into the surgery. Now, you know, the other brands out there are, are really good. You know, it's kind of like cars nowadays. Everybody has a great, you know, product. Uh, but, you know, uh, you know, Brother has an air threader. Juki has an air threader. Uh, you know, Bernina, Burnett's. Uh, everybody's, you know, has their air threading surgers now. Uh, but, you know, Baby Lock was the first. They've had the technology and they just keep up in their game. So, you know, you cannot go wrong uh, to me with any of the name brands. If you are, you know, if you you are have a favorite brand, you know, good chances they have a great surger, air threader surger. So I would, you know, highly, highly recommend it. But 
again, uh, this is the baby lock line. You cannot go wrong with these. And, and again, they're set for your budget. You know, if you want to start out with the, the vibrant, even we yeah. love the vibrant, it's not air threading, but it's a great serger. But, you know, that Celebrate, that's one of the reasons, Kennedy, that Celebrate has been so popular yeah. since it came out. It's because it's under $1,000. It's air threading. It's easy to thread. It's a great stitching machine. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and that's one of them that when we first got it, I used that quite a bit, just trying to, yeah. me you know, mess around and, and see if I could do a demo on it and things. I ended up breaking a needle. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I got a little crazy pulling the, the thread. You know, I was trying to. <laughs> to cut the thread. I don't remember what I was yes. doing. And I was like, what the heck? And uh, so I finally learned how to surge because I broke a couple needles, you know, trying you gotta, to figure it you out. You got to make some mistakes and then you'll, you're, you'll have success. I'm I just promise. telling you, if I can do it, any yes. of y'all can do it. I promise you. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. Don't let these things intimidate you anymore. There's so many videos. We're here to help answer your questions and give you guidance. And, you know, and it's so easy to thread it nowadays. So, yeah. You know, I, I think you need to open up your world of threat surging if you haven't done it yet. And I know there's some out there you need to chime in right now if you own one of the ones we've shown on the show and, and tell everybody how much you love it because I know you do. Yes. I know uh, Paula Becker was talking about the celebrate and how much she loved it. Oh, really? And, I mean, they're great and hardly we hardly ever get baby lock surgers in service because they are yeah. they just last so long and people have had theirs for 10 plus years and it still works as if they just got them now i just was informed uh we did sell out of two of the models oh. and uh, i think one of them was the um acclaim uh -oh. <laughs> that's my favorite one oh my uh so but don't don't worry, guys. I know we've got these on order. They've already been on order because I know we were kind of getting low on a few of them. Yes. And we kind of suspected because of the show that we'd probably run out of a couple models because we were a little low in quantities. Uh, but we have them on order. They should be here. So don't let that stop you from going ahead and and ordering and getting your surger deal this month uh, because we we got some great specials on them. Uh, but you can go ahead and get that pre-ordered. If we do run out of anything on the website, don't let that bother you. Go ahead and get a pre-order because I know they're in transit right now and they should come very quickly. So, oh, yes. Uh, and as soon as they hit the door, we just turn it right back around and ship it right out to you. So, wow. uh, But it'll be free shipping nationwide right to your doorstep. So you can't beat it. And needles and thread are 30% off. That's so right. you can always stock up. Yeah, our thread is 30% off and all the needles. So guys, you can stock up on your thread right now too. And I tell you, we have so much great thread brands that we yeah. carry. Maxi Lock, uh, Wooly Nylon. I know yeah. some people were asking about what we carried. We've got lots of options. Wonderful, Orifil, anything. Go, exquisite. go check out. Exquisite, yeah. Yeah, exactly. exquisite thread. We love our exquisite thread. So, uh, But guys, we hope that you all enjoyed the product today. We hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, so, you know, next week we're going to continue that theme with surgers. We're going to have Chris talk on here. We're going to talk about that, all that that brother, their new Air Threader 3000, and uh, he's going to do some projects and show you how to use it. So we'll have that on there. And then we're going to have a special trade-in sale announcement oh, are we? next week. All and I don't right. know if I'm even supposed to tell you all that, but I'm know. telling you. So that, keep this between you us. You didn't hear this from us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a pretty cool. So if you got an old surger you've had, uh, you know, for 30 years laying around and you're ready to get a new upgrade, we're going to have a really great uh, little thing for you. So here's a yeah. wink, wink. To yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. That's my little inside information that I, I can share with you. So, all right, guys, are y'all ready to win some product today? Woo! I have got some, some swag up here. We're going to give away Ooh. and uh, also got, uh, we're going to give a couple baby lock uh, colored gold. So mats, Ooh, the, okay. the sewing machine plus so mats in gold, the baby lock gold to celebrate our show today. And uh, so we got in some bags. So let's start out with our event bags. Okay. We're going to give two of y'all out there the whole set of eight. They come in eight different colors. They're $9.99 each on our website, or you can buy the whole bundle for $49.99. And, uh, but we're going to give these for two of y'all a set of these. They all have unique scenes on there and they're pretty cool. So Kennedy's got her wheel ready to go. So Kennedy. Oh yes, I am ready. Let's do it. All right. Let's spin that wheel. Okay. I want to win something today. I know. I want to win something too. Olinda oh, Gabriel? Is Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel. Congratulations, Miss Linda. It's Olinda. 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 Gabriel. Okay. 
she's watching today from YouTube. And so, uh, Olinda, you just won yourself a set of the event bags. So how you need to claim your prize is go to smplive.tv and scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim a prize, fill out all the information, hit submit, and we will get them shipped right out to you. Yes, we will. All right, all Kennedy, right. we're going to give another set of these away. So spin Let's that wheel. Do it. Let's see who's going to win. Kyle, Kyle's watching today. I saw Kyle's name. I saw my mom's name too, pop up there. Lorraine Strong. Ooh, congrats. So Lorraine, uh, she is watching today from YouTube as well. So congratulations. And what we need you to do is just go to smplive.tv. Scroll down toward the bottom of that page. Uh, fill out all the information where it says claim a prize, hit submit. And uh, we'll get your bag shipped we out. We will take care of the rest for you. That's right. All right. Next up, we are going to give away one of our world famous sewing mats. Now, y'all see the very the second one from the left there. That is the baby lock gold color. That's going to match a baby lock colors. Mm -hmm. Those are the two we're giving away today. Uh, are the gold color ones, and we're going to let you pick your size uh, of of the gold that you win. We're only mm -hmm. giving the gold away today because we're celebrating baby lock surgeries. And so we're gonna give uh, your choice of size though. So, so Kennedy, yes, spin that wheel. Woo! I actually think the gold is my favorite because the texture of the mat makes it look super shiny and like yeah. really like gold. Oh, I love it. Eleanor Quincy. Eleanor, Woo. congratulations, Eleanor. She is watching today from uh, YouTube. So Eleanor, what we need you to do is go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim my prize, fill out all that information, hit submit, and we will handle it from there. How's you don't that? even gotta worry. All right. Eleanor, head to SMP Live and we'll get you. All right. What's all right. Next, Blaine? We're gonna give one more of these away. Oh, one more, okay. Yep. So we're gonna give one more mat away. So Kennedy, spin that wheel okay if kyle wins a giveaway today i'm, I'm gonna call him out can't win. we're gonna make him buy us lunch yeah <laughs> marie brown marie so Ooh. congratulations marie marie is watching today from youtube so marie you are going to get a gold sewing mat in your size and by the way, I need to remind you all, if you won the mat, most importantly, when you fill out the information where the comments are, uh, where you're claiming your prize, tell us what size you want of these yes. mats, okay? So Marie, you'll need to go to smplive.tv. Uh, you'll scroll down toward the bottom of the page where it'll have a place that says claim my prize, fill out the information, and most importantly, tell us what size of gold mat that you want and hit submit and uh, we'll get it shipped right out to you. Yes. All right, All right, next up, Kennedy, we are going to give our first Baby Lock bundle away. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so let me get this in here and I'm going to show you all what we have. I'll so, first up, it. we have a Baby Lock hat. I think they can probably see that right, yeah. right there. That's good. Y'all can probably see that. Okay. Uh, it's one of those like a golf hats, adjustable in the back. It's very soft. And it's too. kind of a navy blue. We are going to give away a Baby Lock coffee mug oh my gosh it's got baby lock on both there sides you okay you're going to get a baby lock stylist that you can <laughs> do on your tablets Which or is also on a pen or a pen or you can do it on your sewing machine yeah. you can do things on your sewing machine on the touch screens if you've got an electronic machine <clears throat> you're getting the baby lock usb stick it's in a little box here mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're getting the baby lock uh, coaster to set your hot coffee mug on. While you stitch, sew, serge, and <clears throat> whatever it is. Yeah, so you won't uh, mess anything up like when you're sitting it on your exactly. on your coffee uh, on your sew mat. No spilling. No spilling. <laughs> and you're going to get a pair of baby like sunglasses, and uh, these are kind of cool. They're black in the front, blue in the back, and then on the sides it says, "I love my baby lock." You got it. You got to stay stylish when it's sunny outside. Yep. So this is our package, the first swag package. All right, so All right. Kennedy, we're gonna give that one away. So, so let's, let's spin, spin that wheel. Woo. That's a lot of good stuff, Lane. I feel like I'd wear that hat a lot. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, I saw my mom's name pop up again. Ivana, Ivana Hendrick. Hendrick. 
Congratulations. So Ivana, she is watching today from Facebook. So congratulations, Ivana. You just got yourself some Baby Lock swag. And uh, what we need you to do is just go to smplive.tv. And when you get to that page, scroll down toward the bottom of that page. and It'll have a place where it says claim a prize. Just fill out the information. I hit submit and then we will get this uh, swag stuff sent out to you. Woo! Okay, what's next, Blaine? What's All right, we're going to our, our swag number two. Okay. So our swag number two. First of all, you're getting this really cool oh. water bottle. Pink Blaine, water that bottle. that looks great with the shirt. I just have to tell you. Pretty cool. I think it goes with the hat, see? Yeah. Pink. So it says baby lock on it. You're getting your pink hat, just like the blue one, but it's in pink. You are getting Adorable. your coaster. Coaster. Of course. Baby lock coaster. No spilling near the machine. You're getting your uh, stylus and pen. Oh, yes. So you can, again, write on your tablet or on your screen on your electronic machines. Yeah. If you've got IQ Designer. Yep. USB. USB stick, baby lock, and a pair of the sunglasses. So just a couple different things. We have the writing on the temples on each side. It says, yes. I love my baby lock. Pretty cool. Now, if you guys win, you got to take a picture of you with the hat. With, with, all with a hat swag. and sunglasses with your swag yes. and send it to us and we'll put it on the show. Yes. All right. So, <laughs> Kennedy, spin that wheel. Okay. Who's going to win? Mary Daniel. Woohoo! So Mary Daniel, you are our winner of the Baby Lock Swag Pink Package. And uh, so Mary, what we need you to do, just go to smplive.tv L -I -V -E, dot TV, and uh, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim my prize, fill out the information, hit submit, and uh, we will get your stuff, your swag. Your swag. Shipped swag. out to you. All right, so one more giveaway today. We are going to do a $100 gift card okay. uh, to one of our lucky viewers. And uh, so, all right, Kennedy, spin that wheel. Okay. If you guys win today, let us know what you're stocking up on with that gift card. We want to know. Bernadette said, pick me, pick me. <laughs> Karen Green. Congratulations. So Karen is our winner of our $100 gift card. So congratulations, Karen. She is watching today from YouTube. So Karen, what we need you to do is just scroll down toward the bottom of the page on uh, smplive.tv and you'll see where it says claim my prize. I uh, just fill out the information, hit submit, and then what we will do is we'll email you back a, a gift card code that you'll use at the checkout and it'll take $100 off your purchase. Yes, or if you're local, you can pop on in and we can get it to you right away. Yeah, they can just go right in the retail stores mm -hmm. and, and if you're uh, in Southern California and we can take it off there too. And stop by from Fabric Palooza. Yeah, Fabric Palooza is going on right now in the retail stores. They're doing that. They're also going to have a Mother's Day sale uh, around Mother's Day week in the stores. So if you're local Southern California, you can uh, go in there and check out some of the things they're going to have on sale. So they're going to be a good, good program going there. I'll be there shopping. Uh, <laughs> and make sure that I hope that y'all wrote all the dates down of our shows. I know Kennedy will be putting some stuff out on the social media. If you haven't joined our Facebook live, our Facebook group yet, yeah. you just go to SMP uh, on the Facebook, Soul Machines Plus Facebook page. And you can, there's a place in there where you can just join the group. Uh, be the group. How many you have in your group now? We're almost at 900, Blaine. Almost 900 people in the group. Uh, you get some special things in there. Kennedy gives some special coupon codes. We some share some designs. some information. It's a closed group, so we can tell you a lot of, uh, you know, things there that we can't say here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, make sure that y'all tune in next week because we got Chris Talk coming in. We're gonna have the Brother Program next week. You never know. We may even have a special guest and make a surprise uh, stop by to, uh, next week as well. You so. Never know. You never know. Blaine always has some tricks up his sleeve. So yeah, uh, y'all need to make sure y'all tune in. And uh, but guys, we hope that y'all enjoyed the show today. It was very educational. I know it ran a little long today. This is a, a long show. I uh, normally we try to keep it around just a little over an hour, but today we're you know hour and forty five minutes. But uh, I know it was a long, but there's a lot of information with a lot of machines. And so if you are in the market for surgery, give us a call at 800-401-8151. And guys, if you're in the market for anything, you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. We have a lot of great specials going right now, even yeah. with uh, aero cabinets and chairs. 
Grace. and a, yeah, Grace products, a lot of different things. They've got a really good sale going on right now. So uh, make sure that y'all uh, give us a call if you have any questions about anything. And I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day, great yes. weekend, and tune in Tuesday. Kennedy will have our takeover Tuesday next week. Oh, and yes. then we'll be back in here on Thursday uh, with Chris Talk. So y'all don't want to miss it. See y'all later.